and welcome to Adelaide's Big Event Special of the Year. Tonight, Channel 7 and the Advertiser are proud to present, in the presence of His Royal Highness Prince Charles, the Royal Charity Performance. The best of Australian and South Australian talent are assembled for the benefit of South Australian charities, so it seems, well, only fitting that this spectacular should be sponsored by South Australia's own bank, the Savings Bank of South Australia. So, I invite you to sit back and be entertained by this superb television event. Hello and welcome to VHS Review and it's been a while since we've done a beta special so today we're delving once more into the box of beta tapes at the Alexis Kotloe Library. This one is the oldest one in there, recorded live at the Adelaide Festival Theatre on the 23rd of April 1981 and airing sometime later on Adelaide's Channel 7. It's the Royal Charity Performance. Coverage began with quite a lot of footage of Prince Charles walking around. was followed by the National Anthem, which at that time was still God Save the Queen, and then the star of the show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our host for tonight, Mr. Barry Crocker. Now, I won't go too deeply into the evening's perfectly acceptable music and dancing. The whole thing's on YouTube if for some reason you actually want to watch it. But in brief, there's some very nice classical piano and violin, a few show tunes, a bit of futury dancing to Vangelis, and a reminder that in Australia, disco hadn't died yet in 1981, or if it had, we were still entertained by its pained expression and the occasional movement caused by gases escaping from its bloated corpse. But let's have a closer look at the evening's compere, Barry Crocker. He did have some good lines. I have appeared before His Royal Highness three times now, and so I guess it's a, it was a bit of a case of, oh, not him again. Uh, but I'm sure that Prince Charles feels the same way. <laughs> he also had some real Barry Crockers. Adelaide is a city of churches, and I think that we have some of the most beautiful churches in the world in the town of Adelaide. So if there's anyone in the audience who's thinking of getting married soon, this would be the place, I guess, to, to come. There was also this barryism as he introduced singer Christine Allen. Well, our next performer, ladies and gentlemen, is someone that's quite new to our business, although she has a pretty impressive track record already, having two number one singles in the top ten last year. Two number one singles in the top ten. Can you have a number one single not in the top ten? BC got some more good laughs reading out telegrams, which back then weren't just for right-wing nuts who want to overthrow the government. Although this is the exception that proves the rule. Oh, this one is from Rupert Murdoch, another Adelaide boy. Uh, so sorry, cannot be with you tonight, but I'm negotiating to buy the sun. That's the planet, not the newspaper. <laughs> Just the sort of scientific inaccuracy I'd expect in a Murdoch publication. How about this joke? Julie Anthony was born in Galga, that's about 100 miles from Adelaide, and uh, she was born there on a rural property, and by all rights she should have been a farmer. In fact, she wanted to be a farmer. In fact, Julie still claims today that the soil is still in her blood. At the age of eight, she was run over by a tractor. But she's a marvellous thing, and she's a marvellous She's one of my best friends, and she's here to sing for us tonight. <sighs> Tough crowd. I think that deserved a bigger laugh. I reckon the problem was they weren't sure if he was being serious. But what can you do? You just gotta keep going. And if all else fails, wheel out some impressions. Joan Sutherland sings Rod Stewart. If you want my body, if you think I'm sexy. <laughs> if I may, The Don Lane Show, 15th of March, 1979. Is it true that you do an impression of uh, Joan Sutherland imitating Rod Stewart? Oh yes, it's, um, <laughs> this is, it's new from KTL Productions, it's Joan Sutherland. <laughs> Joan Sutherland sings Rod Stewart's greatest hits. If you think I'm sexy, and you... <laughs> You're a poet or a private. You're an up-and-coming star. Seven. You're a teacher or a learner. Seven. You're a traveler from afar. David Niven, Barbara Hershey, Michael York. Together they form part of a complex web of espionage stretching from war-torn Europe to the United States. This is The Secret War, fought by A Man Called Intrepid. Thursday, 8.30. Come on, smile, seven, and you're on. All right, let's look at the rest of the tape. 
Remember the old Adelaide Festival Plaza with its colourful attractions? No, not those ones. These. Have you seen how many models there are in the Chrysler Colour Television range of radio rentals? Take this 38cm remote control or this mobile 53cm remote control set. You can rent Chrysler for as low as $4.61 per week. Radio Rental's unique rental plan includes full service within 24 hours, 5 days a week. And you could offer to turn rent into buy any time by simple written request. Chrysler from Radio Rental's 22 branches. Choosing, choosing for radio rentals, rental or cash. Not enough wood in modern electronics now. Quite a few TV ads on this tape actually, as in ads for TVs. And this one's got extra wood. New telly. Yes, HMV. Good name. Great picture. Now, listen, can I just borrow your pen a minute, get next week's lotto results? Next week's? Yes. HMV's years ahead, so we get next week's shows. So I'm really cleaning up on lotto. Oh, HMV must cost a lot more. Oh, well, mine didn't. Anyway. This one pays for itself. Could I just jot down those numbers? HMV. With so many years behind us, no wonder we're years ahead. Shouldn't they be getting next year's lotto results then? I don't know what's more unrealistic. John Wood has a TV that shows the future, or the fact he needs to borrow a pen in his own house. What does it take to make a TV specialist Australia's number one? Radio-controlled vans that come to your home when you phone. Trade your old colour TV on a brand new set. Buy it outright or rent with an option to purchase later. And you won't shoot us down on a deal at your place or ours. Expert TV service too. Who is Australia's number one TV specialist? Canberra Television. To buy or rent new TVs, video recorders, large projection screens, even home computers. Call Canberra Television. Complimentary fireworks and porno with every set. Hi, I'm Jeremy Cordo. May I give you some advice if you're shopping for just about any electrical appliance you can think of? Earn Smiths, I believe, are the best people in Adelaide. They call their huge showroom an electric supermarket. I've shopped around, and I've looked at the prices, and I've found that not only do Earn Smiths give you the best deal, but they back that deal with a seven-day free home trial, fabulous after-sales service, easy terms, and they really know about the products they sell. Earn Smiths. 167, the Parade Norwood. Fun fact, Jeremy Cordeaux also rents out his office for toothpaste commercials. Plaque bacteria builds up every day and can lead to tooth decay and breath problems. It looks frightening, but it needn't be. Dentists will tell you that proper brushing with the right toothpaste will help remove plaque. There is no doubt that Colgate is the most trusted toothpaste in Australia. Colgate has clinically proven fluoride. That gets in and strengthens tooth enamel on the inside to fight plaque attack from the outside. Brushing with Colgate, it took just over three minutes to remove the stained plaque that you saw. Now toothpaste does more than Colgate to fight tooth decay and freshen breath. No doubt that's why more people brush with Colgate than any other. Brush with Colgate and remove plaque. Let's see what else people were watching on those 1981 televisions, if not in stereo, at least in stereotype. Compared to a pig, you have the manners of the queen. Did someone call Cobbett? <laughs> Why did you buy your manor a grave? Oh, because of the view it's got. It's daily at dawn, followed at 8 o'clock by holiday time in Kingswood country. He with the dogs in the Kingswood? Well, not actually in as such. More you're strapped to the roof rack. <laughs> Wednesday night, the laughter's on us with Daily at Dawn at 7.30 and Kingswood Country at 8 o'clock. The Comedy Hour, something special on 7. Yes, special. 1981, when news was funky. Total News, Total Current Affairs, Monday to Friday, five nights a week. Total involvement with Adelaide's only 90 minutes of news. Six o'clock, the facts behind the news in South Australia. Guy Blackmore and State Affair. 6.30, Go International with Kevin Kreese, Bruce McAvaney and Keith Martin. 7 National News, the facts from around Australia and across the world. 7 o'clock, National Current Affairs, Willacy 81. Total News, Total Current Affairs, South Australia's best, weeknights on 7. Here's a promo you'd swear is a send-up, but it's real. From the Logie award-winning hit show, This Fabulous Century, comes the premiere of a brand new series, The Australians. Presenter Peter Luck takes a look at the people, institutions and traditions of Australia. 
The heroes of our story are two truck drivers. Nothing special about that, except that one of them is a middle-aged woman named Toots. Can't you bloody wait? No, well, next time bloody wait. You haven't even got the bath to Well, you don't started. talk on the damn TV, old girl. You just don't no more. Equality of the sexes for Toots Holzheimer means that she gets to load all her own cargo. In two hours, she'll manhandle, or woman handle, 80 of these drums onto a semi. Each one weighs about 250 kilograms. That's one-fifth of a ton in each barrel. So if you take it on a man's job, you do it. Share this remarkable story of the woman they called Toots on the premiere of Channel 7's all-new series, The Australians, presented by Shell and Telecom, this Friday at 7.30. I still call. I presume most of the show was just her loading the barrels. Uh, by the way, 250 kilograms isn't a fifth of a ton, that's a quarter of a ton, which is even more impressive. Interesting character, that's for sure. Wouldn't see her kind today. OH&S would never allow it. One thing that strikes me on this tape is the variety of Australian accents. 1981 was at the tail end of that period where people on television, I'm talking professional TV presenters here, not people being vox popped on the street, gradually transitioned from the old British plum in the mouth style to that broad Aussie who gives a f way of speaking. Exhibit A. Of all banks in this state, there's still only one that pays interest on personal check accounts. In fact, pays more interest than most banks pay on passbook accounts. The Savings Bank of South Australia. You can have all the convenience of a cheque account, your pay can be credited to that account, and you'll earn interest at the same time. If you're not getting interest on your personal cheque account, then maybe it's time you got the Savings Bank advantage. Open a personal cheque account now, at your nearest Savings Bank branch. Exhibit B. Mrs White, we know you fed your cats whiskers for years, but did your cats get their whiskers today? No, but when they do, they're going to get something different. It's Fishkers, Whiskers' new fish variety. About time, too. At last, fish at a Whiskers price. And the way they tuck into it, you just know it's good. Tell them, beautiful creature. Did you get your new Fishkers today? Did your cat get his Whiskers Fishkers today? Now in the 2020s, unless you're from Adelaide, you pretty much sound like this. Take your bloody way! Now, well, next time, bloody way! You haven't even got the bath of well, you seven, and you're on. However good your day is, there's one moment that's the best. The one that makes a good day great. When everyone says yes, yes! Kentucky Fried Chicken. Eleven secret herbs and spices make this tender golden crust a sort of super seasoning. It's nice to see them eating well. One says yes, yes! It's so nice, nice to feel. So good about a meal. So it's yes to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Eating well. At KFC? Boy, people really thought differently back in the 80s, didn't they? I mean, they considered this luxury. The new Datsun Pulsar. The five-door hatchback that dares you to find more luxury for the money. gives you the performance of Datsun Direct Drive technology. Fully imported Datsun Pulsar. A new direction in driving. At your Datsun dealer now. Sheer driving mediocrity. Bye. Thanks, Doctor. At first glance, the new Volvo seem sleeker and lower, but basically still the same solid, dependable car as always. However, all is not as it seems. A new, bigger four-cylinder engine and a new bigger six have transformed the Volvo into something else. It still looks like a Volvo, but it goes like something else. Yes, Dr. Jekyll. Most days, a good-natured Volvo driver, but get just one vial of serum into him and he's hitting the streets like this. What a spectacular performance. Good evening.
this is a David M. Green production.